because you didn't have to unsubscribe because sometimes right. they send you something to see if it's a live email. Yeah. And if you unsubscribe, then they have your email. Yeah. It's exhausting. Yeah. God dear, I tell you what, you guys make me feel really unpopular. <laughs> I, I, I have got yeah. nothing in my inbox. I know. <clears throat> but that's by careful design. It is. Mm. Well, I mean, yeah, in fairness, it is because, um, so just, I like to bring this out for a laugh every call. That's my phone. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So I am not subject to the continual harassment of mm. pings and blurps and chirps and all the rest. I'll tell you what, I'm surprised any of you are sane. Um, and then again, maybe mm -hmm. you're not. <laughs> I was say, who, who of oh, us put on a good front? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, put you know on a good front. I know. Uh, we're, I, we're probably coming up on just the end of our call, right? Yeah. Yeah, got, yeah I got a few uh, minutes I left. I just want to share something real quick, and just to, I, you know, as Barbara Ann knows, I always like to end on an up note with some fun, right? So trying to sprinkle a little bit here. Um, remember that TED Talk, Barbara Ann, that I share in my program. So I, I googled yeah. it. I mean, it's it's just it's really funny. Um, I use it in a business communications class, and let me just see what it's called. If you guys get a second, sure. Oh, I like. Um, it's not the one by Sean Aker, is it? Uh, no, it's actually by. It is hysterical. It's a TED Talk by James Veach. V e i t c h. If you just Google spam email TED Talk, it is hysterical. Spam. I don't know if you've okay. ever seen it. I've got to see it that. It is worth the seven minutes. I use it um, when I teach, uh, you know, business communications, business writing. Uh, he shows seven minutes of fun. Oh, you say James. Yes, yes I've seen this guy. Yes, He's yes. brilliant. He's awesome. I actually have, <laughs> so I good. included him in the chain about my post to try and add some levity to it. Um, uh -huh. I included a link to his TED talk. He decides one day to answer a scammer and the rest of it just goes it down. Goes, That's part of the. I mean. I, I think I have seen it. There's, there's a comedian in the UK called Joe Lysett. Yes. Um, and he ha takes immense pleasure in engaging these people taking them yeah. all the way through so they're going yeah yeah i've got them i've got them and then just going no at the end it's yeah it's funny I funny can, uh, so funny i can put the link since it's just for us right yes yes chat, if you guys want to take a look at it but i do definitely um, i actually used it on tuesday with my my people were tired they've been with me since eight o'clock right and uh you're only allowed two, they're unions, so they're allowed two 15 minute breaks and no more, and it's a long day. So around two o'clock, I had two more hours to go, and I thought, let me have some fun with them. And they really, they enjoyed it. It re-energized everyone. And it's very relatable, so I just put it in the chat. Excellent. Um, a fun resource uh, when we're talking about a topic that can really ruin lives. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, it, it, it really can ruin lives. So we were going to end on an up, but then you went back down again. Um, what we're going to do? We must <laughs> must leave must leave on an up. Um, and I'm afraid that I, see all I've got is I can offer a joke, but they're just so bad. Um, we'll, we'll see. You know the up just is show everyone your cell phone again. That was. <laughs> 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 I was getting shamed last year for not having an Apple yeah. phone for what was that thing? Clubhouse? Mm. Yeah, was that an Apple? yeah, that came and went pretty quickly, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah no. and I, I know somebody else who has is using Clubhouse now for, for things, but um what you could say is look, I, I always we all most of us as people, we we assume the best. We just unfortunately nowadays kinda of have to presume the worst. And um, you know, just mm. know what you know if it sounds too the old adage if it sounds too good to be true it always is it always, yeah. is. It it always really is. is you know every yeah. once in a while maybe but no for the most part come on and i would dovetail off that if it sounds fishy it's, it's probably fishy, fishy. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, gang, so look, we've been here for a while. I shall yeah, cut this you. up into little five-minute segments, and I'll supply it. If, if you can all give us your preferred email in the message chain on LinkedIn, and I will retransfer it to th you three, and Gregory, I'll give you the download link in the message chain. Okay. Uh, let me stop recording. Well, in fact, actually, let me just do a piece to camera. And you know what? This will be in the edit as well because, uh, you know, it's authentic. That's what I think. So, uh, LinkedIn family, that was a uh, most interesting and informative and demonstrational uh, mm -hmm. conversation. And there's all sorts of precautions that you should be taking that I have not been taking. And I've, now I'm quite worried. So, uh, have a great day. I'll see you again for another conversation soon.